Hello everyone, my name is Elite Trainer Kenway, and this is a bit of an impromptu video, but I figured out how you can easily solo the Dialga and talk your rates for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, last week Nintendo dropped the latest trailer for the Indigo Disc DLC, set to release this week, and after the trailer ended, it was announced that Dialga and Palkia would be available to catch in 5-star terror rate until midnight on December 21st. So, if you're watching this video the day it goes up, you only have about 11 days left to catch the Gods of Time and Space. Now, these limited time raids are supposed to be done online with a team of 4 trainers, but not everyone has NSO or a stable internet connection to do these raids. So, I'm going to teach you how you can run these raids by yourself. But before I do that, I want to show you a couple of gifts you can get using the mystery gift passcode option. And the best part is, you don't need NSO to get these gifts. By logging online and entering the code NEW MOON IS COMING exactly like you see on screen, you can receive a Dark Ride and a Cherish Ball. This Dark Ride is level 50 and knows the moves Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, and Noses and Dream Meter. This gift is only redeemable once per safe ball and is available until midnight on December 21st. Our next mystery gift is a shiny Lucario and it can be claimed using the code SHINY BUDDY. Lucario is also in a Cherish Ball and is level 75. Lucario knows the moves Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere, Bullet Punch, and Ice Punch. Lucario is available until January 3rd, 2024. And in case you forgot, you can also claim a Fighting Terra River Vroom using the code Team Star until October 2024. There's nothing special about this one, but since I'm making this video, I just wanted to mention it. Now then, let's get to the reason you clicked on this video. Dialga and Palkia are both 5-star terror raids, but that doesn't mean that they're easy just because they're level 75. That's why I'm here. Since they're both dragon terror types, the best way to take them out is with a fairy terror type Azumaro. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use the same Azumaro I used for the 7-star Charizard raid earlier this year. But if you don't already have one, they're pretty easy to find and catch. As a matter of fact, you can get a level 55 Fairy Terra type 1 as a static encounter in the Castle Royal Lake. Once you get it to level 100, go ahead and max out its HP and special attack stats. Adding a boost to defense and special defense will also be helpful, especially when going up against the August Steel Beam. If you have a handful of nature bits, it would be helpful to give a zoomer a nature that boosts special attack stat. I chose to go with relaxed nature. Once you get your Fairy Terra Azumar up to level 100 and get its stats up, go ahead and make sure it has the move Draining Kiss. Go ahead and put Draining Kiss as the first move and max out its PP as it's the only move we'll be using in the raid. Just as a precaution, it would be good to make sure Azumar has uh, Terra Blast also just in case you run out of PP for Draining Kiss. As the RNG sometimes can be cruel, the last thing to do is get a held item, Metronome. This will increase the power of Draining Kiss for the first 5 turns and will keep the increased power unless you switch moves. If you don't already have Metronome, you can buy one at Deli Bird Presents in Lavencia for 1500 Poke Dollars. Excuse me, 15,000 Poke Dollars. Now then, let's start the first raid. The first one I'm going to do is Pocket as it's the easier of the two. But just because it's easy doesn't mean it's quick. Palkia's hardest hitting attack is Draco Meteor, which barely puts a scratch on Azumarill. You'll want to make sure to terrestrialize as soon as possible, and every time Azumarill uses Draining Kiss, it restores your HP back to nearly full. Regardless of what Palkia throws at you, the only hiccup you may run into is Palkia using Thunder, which doesn't hit every time and isn't strong enough to knock out Azumarill, but when it does hit, it does have a chance to paralyze. Just keep spamming away using Drain Kiss and eventually you will wear down Palkia and you can catch it using any ball you want. I caught it in a Dream Ball. Now let's talk about Dialga. The good news is Dialga doesn't have Thunder and therefore cannot paralyze you. The bad news is Dialga does have Steel Beam which can do some massive damage to your Azumarill. With a little bit of luck and if the RNG gods are on your side, you should be able to wear down Dialga using the same methods we did for Palkia. Dialga will frequently knock out the NPCs all around you, but don't worry, your timer is not going to take a hit unless you get knocked out. And honestly, even if you do get knocked out like I did in this run, you should still be able to take out Dialga by spamming Draining Kiss. If you feel like you need some extra support, go ahead and restart the raid over and over again until you get an NPC with Sylveon like I did, and eventually you will have a chance to catch Dialga in any Pokeball you want. I used a Dive Ball. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with a beefed up Azumarill holding Metronome, you should be able to knock out both Dialga and Palkia. If you follow this guide completely and still are unable to take down those raids, hop on over to our Discord channel and one of our members will be happy to help you run the raids. If you happen to be watching me the day this goes live, don't forget to check out our friends over at the Hidden Power Podcast. 
They'll be doing an end of year Christmas party live stream tomorrow morning, and I plan on stopping in for a quick visit. Honestly, they make really, really great content. They cover spoilers, speculations, predictions, opinions, and everything else you can think of. It's a really awesome channel that you should definitely check out if you haven't done so already. And with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Let me know down in the comment section what ball you caught Yogg and Pocky in. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.